Hello everyone, I hope you are all having a wonderful time. So today's vlog is about how to save money while you are traveling in Thailand. I'm gonna give you 10 tips that if you follow them, you are going to save a lot of money and enjoy more, party more, shop more and do more in Thailand. How? Then watch this vlog till the end and you will know how to do all these things with paying less and enjoying more. Well, the first tip that I am going to give you today is to travel like a local. This is Thailand, you have lots of types of transportation, but you have to be very wise to choose which one is best for you. I'm not talking only in Bangkok from BTS into MRT, but also how to move from Bangkok to Phuket to Pattaya to Hua Hin and to use the best way of transportation. Well, let's go and take the cheapest way of transportation in Bangkok and along the way to talk how to use this tip, which is travel like a local. This is Thailand and you will move a lot. In order to enjoy the best of it, in the capital city Bangkok, use the public transportations. The SkyTrain, the underground trains, even go more local, use the motorbike taxis, the boat taxis, don't go for expensive options like taxis and tuk-tuks. Trust me, you will save a lot of time and money. And moreover, you will enjoy the ride. Imagine a bumpy ride between Bangkok old channels while you are taking photos of the historic buildings rather than a boring time-wasting taxi ride and paying a lot for that. Apply that also when you are traveling between provinces in Thailand. For example, to Pattaya or Hua Hin, Take the local bus, the local van, be local, sit in ventilated old buses, why not and pay as less as $3 per ride, rather than a taxi for $50 at least, where is the fun in that? Unless you love paying a lot and while enjoying the list. So as you saw my friends, 13 baht from Sukhumvit to Pratunam, it would have been 30 baht by BTS and maybe more than 200 Thai baht if you took taxi. Well, the second tip of today is that the more expensive does not mean always the better, especially in Thailand. So I'm talking about items and services. Now here we come to the second thing that makes tourists spend a lot in Thailand, which is the logic they use. It's expensive, then it is better service. No, that's totally wrong and usually the opposite is the right way. The cheap massage parlors, the affordable spas and the $2 haircuts are the best in Thailand. They are the ones with good services. I'm not telling that the expensive fancy places and their services are bad, but usually you will enjoy the local cheap places better because they give you the best while you are paying the list. So don't look on internet where to spend for nothing, but look around you and you will see the best shops. Well, the third tip of today is to eat street food and visit local market. This is very important tip if you want to save money in Thailand. International food and fancy restaurants and high sky bars are found everywhere. And just because this is Thailand, that does not mean these fancy places are cheap. No, they are sometimes more expensive than your country. So if you are wandering among them and taking pictures for your Instagram, then trust me, you will spend a lot. Rather, enjoy the local street food and the delicious portions that you can eat almost everywhere in Thailand. And don't be surprised when you see sometimes locals standing in lines just to get a dish. Well, trust me, something delicious is there. So join the club and enjoy the local food. Buy less, pay less. And that is by visiting the right markets and buying the right items. Buy less, pay less. That does not mean don't buy what you like or want. 
Rather, don't buy things you don't need just because they are cheap. Or buy expensive things thinking that they are cheaper in Thailand. Most of the tourists in Thailand spend money on shopping and buy things they don't need it. For example, they go to a floating market and start buying hats, pants and many other things paying double prices. And then they don't know if they take them back home or just leave it there. You can buy the same items from local shops for less. And moreover, why to buy them? One or two will be enough. You don't have to take all the traditional items with you back home. Visit Thailand in the low season. That seems crazy, right? Well, this is my raincoat. It's raining. Let's talk about that. Of course, we all love the sunny and good weather vacations and that must be in the high season. But at the same time, prices are high and choices are low. And it means no savings while traveling. But if you travel at the end of the high season, and why not in the low season, you will save a lot on many things. And even though there will be some very hot or maybe rainy days. But at the same time, you will pay less for many things like flights, hotels, activities, trips and more. So why not to travel in the low season if you want to save? Well, my friends, another tip to save money while you are traveling in Thailand is that to pay less and stay more. Is that possible? Yes. If you choose the right places, pay the right amounts, you are going to stay more and pay less. Let's talk about this point. Why to book hotels that are 5 star and at the center of everything? Of course the prices will be high. You can book a beautiful hotel little bit away from the action and enjoy more nights, including the breakfast. And pay half of the price at the same time, enjoy the action just by 10 minute walking or taking a motorbike taxi for less than $1. So no need to stay in a place that will empty your pocket just because you can see the beach from your window. Well, book cheap flights. Yes, you can book flights cheap in Thailand as $25 two ways traveling from the airport. That is possible in Thailand if you know how to book cheap flights. I hear many tourists nagging about the internal flights and paying a lot to travel from one place to another. And when I check why, I see they booked expensive flights and with no experience. Thailand has many airways, like Vietjet Airways, AirAsia, Nok Air, all these are so cheap and good service. Some fly from the main airport, others from secondary airports. Some even give you a free luggage options. Then go for them, check online, be light and enjoy the flight. Well, this tip goes for the nightlife lovers. Party more and pay less. Interesting, right? Let's talk about it. Many tourists spend their time for nightlife at red light districts and spend a lot on drinks and shows and think that that's the fun in Thailand. Totally not. Go to local beer bars, walking streets, enjoy the real party atmosphere and pay less and party more. The red light districts and the surrounding bars are there to empty your pocket and give you nothing in return. So it's all up to you. Make local friends in Thailand and you are going to enjoy this city more. And moreover, you are going 
to pay less. Why? Because they know better than you. Many tourists don't like to interact with locals and they think that that's not a good idea. Well, the opposite is the right option. Go for it, interact, talk, make friends. Trust me, you will enjoy more. Why? Because the locals know more what's best and where is the best. Moreover, with their company, you won't make efforts to choose the best and pay the least. So smile and feel home. Enjoy free things in Thailand and attend free activities. They are a lot in Thailand and they are almost every day. You can enjoy them by paying zero baht. If you are in a foreign country, that does not mean that everything that you have to do or enjoy, you should open your wallet. No, many events, many activities daily everywhere in Thailand. In big malls, markets, free food and more are available. Just follow the local news and go for them. And you won't even spend a dime. Well, my friends, the last tip of today is that to watch our channel Live Love Thailand. We are always here to help you and make your vacation better in Thailand by saving time and money and of course staying safe. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and had an idea how to save money while you are traveling in Thailand. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned and subscribe for more from Live Love Thailand.